Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, when I feel like it o'clock. It better be when you feel like it, or just turn this off and go off into other lands. Because that's when we, what we do here at Pearls of Wisdom Ministries. We do things when we feel like it, right? We like some coffee. Mm. Ah, well, I, I'm Perla dancing, Perla dancing, Perla dancing, Perla. We had a great weekend. Woo! Uh, unfortunately, I, we didn't see have the video because unless you're a Patreon member, you didn't get my picks for yesterday because I don't do picks on Saturdays. Often not on Fridays either, but we'll get into that later. I'm going to go right on to the Patreon that I have, and I'm going to show you the picks we had for yes yesterday. If you remember correctly, we were down last week first week we were we were in the losing end uh of this year so far um and we were almost this year week too we were down a unit and a half uh after saturday which saturday was good it brought us up but then sunday came and all the land was in glee <laughs> we'll talk about it here in a bit um, so, uh, yeah, so anyways, if you would like to do that, I'll show you what the Patreon looks like. You go over there, uh, the, the link will be in the description here. Just go to it, you hit it, and you will get a free month. I'll give you the rest of the month for free to try out. If you don't like it, throw it away. Go away. It won't cost you a dime. If you do like it, and you want to go on a lower tier, go right ahead. Or you can stay on the same tier, and you can leave whenever you want. You're not locked into nothing. I don't do that. Homie don't play that. No. We just like to make money, and you're probably going to stay, because just about everybody does. Also, if we, when we hit 50 subscribers, we're going to do a draw, and somebody's going to get a free year of the packages. So that'll be fun. Anyways, I'm so excited, I can barely... I'm going to barely be able to sleep tonight. Tomorrow, I am doing trade deadline all day over at John from Off the Wall Hockey. Go subscribe to Off the Wall Hockey, John. Tell him Perlo sent you. And uh, tomorrow from 8 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll, that's my time. That's uh, mountain time. I'm going to be rolling my favorite day in the land, trade deadline. Da, 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 da. We'll also be doing picks and all that kind of stuff like that. You can get on there and we can talk picks. It's going to be fun. I usually do a show from three till five daily, five days a week in that time. But that will be my show tomorrow. The rest of the week, it'll be back to my show where we do picks. You, got, you get points for your picks. You pick the team and the score. You get points. And when you do that, you after, after a month, this time you can dare me to do something. But eventually, you're going to be getting some cool prizes. All right, guys. Here we go. Hit the subscribe button. Helen will send you my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace stitched up by her and sent on the Perlocopter. Right now for your picks. Here's the picks for tomorrow. You ready? Get out your protractors and erasers and liquid stuff that you what, what liquid eraser. Yeah, and that one that you put your pen in and go wee wee wee. You know that one. And that 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 ruler thing with the curve in it. Get those out. You never know. You might need them. Okay, here we go. Oh, somebody told me that my sound isn't very good. Let's hope that this makes the sound better here. Uh, Hurricanes, PL, over five and a half. Blackhawks, money line, over five and a half. Leafs, money line, over six. Jets, money line, over six. Wild, money line, over five and a half. Avalanche in regulation, over five and a half. Kings, 
puck line under five and a half and sharks money line under five and a half there you go you guys uh, you guys probably have maybe you got to go to uh, chinky's house of pilates of yoga and pilates chinky she's the best there i said it go to chinky's house of pilates tell them perlo sent you because i get free pilates if you do that and i love my pilates don't you know all right, let's get over to the fun Sunday picks. Woo! And then we're going to get over to the picks for Monday, which is uh, tomorrow, which is what, the 12th? The 12th, right. Okay, let's go. Here's my Patreon. Here's my published picks. We'll go down, 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 down. Down. Here we go. It starts here, April 11th. Sabres on a puck line over five and a half. And we'll view this one here. Why not? I'll show you what I do. I give a synopsis, quite often a lot longer than this. But I also suggested here, I said, if you like being get big, that this would one to do to do it with. Sabres are bad enough to lose this game if they play full energy and get good goaltending from Allmark should win it. The Flyers should be exhausted. Not big on going, doing overs for afternoon games, but both of these defenses are really bad. So I suggested money line. However, I play puck line because I like to play on the cautious side. For large pearls, which is usually three, four, something like that. I don't really, whatever your large units are, but I suggest three to four. Over five and a half for one pearl, which we did both. We nailed it. All right. Posts. I won't show you all of these like this, but I just wanted to show you, give it, get an idea of what I give every day. I do that pretty much for every pick every day. Sometimes not. Uh, sometimes I'm too busy or I don't do all of them because it, there's a lot or what have you. Okay. Now I put a parlay in real quick because I wanted, this was a morning game. I had Capitals ML, Avalanche ML, Knights ML, Sabres PL, and I'm really, yeah, that's right. And we got it for six units. So for counting here, that's uh, 160, 320, 420, or four, about four, about 10 units, and we just got started. This one would have made it a stupendous day. We had High Roller NHL Parlay, Sabres PL, Knights PL, Knight, Sabres ML, which we got, Knights PL, which we didn't get. If the Knights had one more goal against Arizona Coyotes, we would have had a 19 banger, but we missed it. That's okay. So we're down one more unit, so we're at nine units. I usually don't count the parlays, but I'm going to today. Golden Knights over Coyotes in reg. It was in reg. We didn't get the over, though. But the over was only four, if I remember correctly. See, this is what I give. I give a whole synopsis on what it says for one unit. So we were up another 120 there. Another 120. Capitals over Bruins money line for large. In fact, this is even bigger than large because it became my pick of the day. I suggest picks of the day be as money, like you put tons of it on there. I, a minimum of five, five units. So we'll say five units. So we have five units. That's four unit win. Plus we had the over for medium pearls, which is two to two and a half. We'll take the lower one. Pretty much a double. We're up another four. Are you counting here? It just keeps on going. Uh -huh. Penguins over Devils money line. Could have went in reg there. I, I was. The Devils are a feisty team at home, and they're fast as heck. And I thought maybe so. I went on the safe side. If you read my thing though, I suggested in reg was okay too. So maybe clients took in reg, and they're really laughing on this one. But for three units and one unit for the over, I won't go and show you. Oh yeah, over six. Yeah, we got it. So what's that? Another one and a half. 
just over one and a half units and two and a half units. Uh, Islanders over Rangers, money line, got it. We only had one unit on this because I was a little, I like the Rangers. I think the Rangers are going to come back and take the Bruins. I've been saying that. I also picked the Rangers before the season to be my surprise team of the year. And they're doing it, and they're coming back, and I think they could still eke into the playoffs. Uh, we also had the under. It was 3-2, 5 We also had that for one unit. They were both one-unit plays. So that's another unit and a half, just over a unit and a half. We had large pearls on the puck line for the Ducks. They won 4-1. So that's another 163-20. Under five and a half, it was also under for one unit for double. I lost count. You can figure it out for yourself. It's about 27 units or 25 units or something like that we made today. Uh, large pearls, predators versus stars under five and a half. We hit it. And uh, stars over predators we did not get. So we lost for one unit. We did not get there, uh, this, and this is my one. This is my tennis pick for tomorrow. It's gonna hit like crazy. Actually, I got a few of them here. I want to take a look real quick. There's my tennis picks for tomorrow. I'll probably hit four of those at least. I usually hit hard on tennis. Okay, so as you can see, we did very well on this Sunday, and we certainly didn't have a losing week. So that's what was it? Five weeks we're into. We had one losing week which was 10 unit loss. And uh, overall, we're up about 35 units, 37 units. You can find a capper up there, out there that's up 37 units. <laughs> this in, in just hockey, that's just hockey. Forget about the fact that we're up in tennis and everything else. So, okay, we're gonna go to our picks for tomorrow. Oh, we're right here, right here. There we are. Uh, Carolina's been messing me up. First pick we have is Carolina. Uh, I can't, last time I did money line on them and they lost to Detroit. We don't know who's going to be starting in, in goal. Um, the problem with Carolina is their goaltending and it doesn't look like they're doing anything about it. I don't know, we'll find out tomorrow at the trade deadline. Like I said, I'll be on live, go over to off the wall hockey off the wall hockey i'll put that link in the description too gotta do it subscribe to him anyways he's freaking awesome his play-by-play -play is amazing more guys to subscribe to best bet ed the ice guys those guys are the those two guys are guys i listen to the most to help me with my picks and i recommend you do that to any to go to a lot of sources <laughs> And figure it out for your figure it out uh, that way. You're only getting 126 against Detroit here. I'm so tempted to take Detroit PL here. I, I'm very tempted to do so. Um, but because ML for Calgary or for Carolina is not good right now. I'm going to assume they put Nedeljkovic in in this game. God, please. Maybe if they put in Reimer. The one thing I know for sure, especially if they put in Reimer, I'll be going the over. Over is a bigger play. I'll probably probably put a small play of Carolina and Reg or something like that. That's what I've got, Carolina and Reg. I'll, the bigger play would probably be the over. Chicago versus Columbus. Columbus is just devastated. They just lost. They just took the their soul right out of their team by trading Felino to. Toronto. I would never trade a Felino for I don't care what they got. I mean, tear it right down, I guess. The good thing about it is, uh, oh, I'll get into it tomorrow. Go into the trade deadline stuff tomorrow and we'll talk about it. But there are a few. Uh, they have one of the best drafting general managers there are. So getting two first is probably going to help an awful lot. Anyways. Saying all that, Chicago has way more to play for. The heart's just been ripped out of Columbus. I'm going to say Chicago. I may even go. Right now I got money line because you get an okay at 183. I might even toss an in rig on that. 
uh, depending on who's going to be in net for Columbus. If it's Corpusello, probably, but we'll see. Go over to Patreon. I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay, you'll get on there. But right now, I'm going money line, and uh, probably over five and a half. Toronto versus Montreal. Toronto versus Montreal. Um, Montreal hasn't really did much. We'll see what happens at the trade deadline tomorrow. Toronto has did a lot already. I think this is going to be a big boost for that team. Montreal might be on the edge of their seat a little bit tomorrow. So I'm going to go Toronto. I'm just going to go money line though. Montreal is a lot to play for right now. I think Toronto could win this handily. Uh, as far, what is, I didn't really look at the weekly on this one. Get this by the way. This is the TSN one. Here, let's go this one. This is the NBC one. I like them both. Oh, Toronto hasn't played in a while. Oh, no, that's not against Ottawa. That's tomorrow. So Toronto played at home, and now they're playing against Montreal. They haven't played overly that much. They're not that taxed. Uh, Montreal has actually played way more. That'll be, this is going to be, yeah, Toronto. This is going to be six games in four nights, or four games in six nights for Montreal. They have been at home, but going against a really tough Toronto team, well, I got to take Toronto there. Toronto ML seems like, I, I think that's actually pretty fair juice against a Montreal team that I has not looked good a lot this year. Winnipeg uh, versus Ottawa, I got to take Winnipeg here. Um, I have a feeling you're going to hear a big, some big news tomorrow for a tra for trades that might happen with Winnipeg. Ottawa should be trading away a lot of players tomorrow uh, if they can find a way to do it. They've already traded one in Coburn, but who wasn't a real significant piece. But I think you'll have more. Unfortunately, Goodbranson is injured. Winnipeg is really going for it this year. I can't see them overlooking Ottawa. Um, I don't think they have, uh, this is an interesting thing to do when you're making picks, especially in hockey. It's a very physical sport and what you have is overlooked games. No, they're playing Ottawa again. So they're not likely going to be overlooking Ottawa when they're already going to be playing Ottawa again. This game they might overlook because they're going to be playing Toronto the next game. Look at this one. This one. I don't think they're going to overlook. I think probably the Hullabuck will be in net. So, yeah, I would say Winnipeg, um, maybe even lean into the puck line here. Um, we'll see. I have money line right now because it's a road game, and Ottawa's feisty. Ottawa is a feisty team. It's growing. The Ottawa team is growing. It's getting bigger. It's getting stronger before our eyes. Really... This is a way better team than the start of the year, and it keeps on getting better. So um, right now I'm saying money line. I may go in reg here, though. Did I put? Yeah, I did put money line. I may go in reg, but we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Well, some of us will. Patreon people will. Uh, Minnesota versus St. Louis. I don't really like this game. I, I got Minnesota money line, but it's going to be for small pearls. Um, I... St. Louis, I once, I think it was like a couple of games ago, I saw something go off in Bennington's eyes. And I just think he's going to rock the world right now. I really do. I think Bennington's turning stuff around here. And uh, if that's the case, I could see St. Louis beating Minnesota three games in a row. I really could. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun game to watch. It could be over, could be under. I don't like it at all. It's going to be a small pearls play, I'm pretty sure. Maybe things will change a little bit depending on what how, what transpires tomorrow at the trade deadline. That can change some energies for teams. But as of right now, I'm not too heavy on the game. Although I will be watching it because that will be an awesome game to watch. Colorado versus Arizona. Colorado saved Grubauer for Arizona. Hill... Are they going to keep on playing Hill all, every single game? They have a Russian guy that doesn't look Pruzerov, who it doesn't look like they're very confident in because they never put him in. But they might have to put him in tomorrow. And if they do, they're, both teams are on a back-to-back. -back. 
But with Grubauer and Net, I just can't see Arizona scoring enough. Just like I said about uh, Anaheim when I took the under in Colorado on a PL, which, by the way, you're not supposed to do. You ask cappers, you never take the under on a PL. I don't agree with that. If, I, if, I, if I'm really honed on the score and I know I called 4 nothing for that game, it was 4-1. If I'm really honed on a score, I'll bet based on the honing I have on that score. So I think tomorrow will be similar. Um, Colorado with Grubauer is going to be almost impenetrable. Uh, I don't think Arizona will score enough. The thing is, will Colorado score so much to push it to over? Not likely since both teams are on back-to-backs. Arizona actually has played more games over the last seven games than Colorado. So even should be more tired and they're on the road. Colorado should have this. I'm going to go Colorado. I got it in regulation and the under. I'm not sure. It's going to depend on goaltending. Arizona can come back. Arizona's really feisty. They can outwork you. They are going to come out in the first period as hard as they can and probably start to fade. So it's possible they might not be able to pull a PL out of this. However, I wouldn't not. If somebody took a PL, I could understand it, a puck line on this game. And uh, maybe I will. Maybe after thinking about it more, I will come up with it. But right now, it's the night before. That's all I'm thinking about it. So I got it. That's what I got it at. Vegas versus Los Angeles uh, versus the Kings. I actually have Kings on the puck line here because, again, Vegas is on a back-to-back. -back. They played a tough game against Arizona today, and they're then traveling to L.A., which isn't a huge travel, but it's still travel. It's still got to move. Los Angeles has been playing a feisty type game. Um I'm not huge on this game. I probably won't put much on it. I just think Los Angeles can keep Vegas to at least one goal. I'm not sure if they're going to win. I could see them winning here, but it would be a tough win nonetheless. Even Vegas on a back-to-back -back is still a very tough team. Not to mention Los... The big problem I have is, is, Los An uh, is the, are the Kings have some injuries on their back end, and we won't find out if they're going to be back until tomorrow. If some of those players are back, um, let me look at it really quick. Oh, look at that. One of them is back already. If, if He's on COVID, so I don't know how long. He, he's day to day. Yeah, I'm going to take LAPL there. LAPL. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't uh, be, uh, I wouldn't poo poo anybody for taking him straight up for that, for that juice, 258. Yeah, why not? But uh, if you take it on the puck line, you're getting 167. I think it's at least just as lucky, li likely as Los Angeles keeping that to a one goal game as Vegas winning it. So you might as well take the extra odds and go with LAPL. We don't have odds for this game, but Anaheim is on a back-to-back. -back. They used Gibson last night. Um, who are they projecting in net? They're projecting they play Gibson back-to-back. -back. That's foolish. Uh, there's no reason to do that. Um, that's but uh, is that because they have no goaltender? Is is Miller hurt? No, Miller's not hurt. It should be Miller tomorrow, which isn't bad. He's not bad. He's very good as well, but he's just no not Gibson. So um, yeah, I think the Sharks will take that game. Um, Anaheim does have a lot of injuries to their offense, and they don't have much offense to begin with. I would take San Jose, and at the moment, I'm going to say under 5.5, assuming Jones is in net. If Jones is in net, I don't think Anaheim's going to be, a score, be able to score enough to push it to the over, but I'm not super confident in that. It'll probably be for small pearls. 
Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give. Holy crap, look at the time. But tomorrow's trade deadline day, so I'll see you there. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.